hi everyone in today's video i take up a question uh, in ship stability where you have to use the hydrostatic tables to find the ship's draft in water of different densities so the question is find the vessel's draft the displacement of which is 8642 tons in salt water fresh water and water of a relative density 1.015 tons per metric cube and you have to use the hydrostatic table so i completely understand if you don't have the hydrostatic tables that i am going to be using um, but uh, the process remains the same and you have to understand the principle here of calculation so don't worry if you don't have the hydrostatic table at least understand the process behind it so before i go into the hydrostatic table remember that i'll just go into it once and show you where i'm getting the data from so that i don't do too much back and forth and confuse you while i shift my screens so remember we have to find the draft for a displacement of 8642 tons now remember a ship's displacement a ship's weight does not change irrespective of the densities what changes is the vessel's draft so never get confused remember that your weight will not change whether you stand in fresh water sea water or any other water it will remain the same your weight cannot change right so similarly a ship's weight cannot change it's only the draft because a ship will rise or sink with changing densities and that is the draft that changes all right so never get confused so i'm going to go into the hydrostatic table and for a displacement of 8642 tons um, i will show you where i'm getting the information from so that uh, i don't do too much backwards and forwards and confuse you so 8642 tons so here this is the hydrostatic table that i'm going to be using and here the displacement is given in just let me uh, use my pen here so the displacement is given in fresh water and the displacement is given in sea water all right otherwise i'll show you what is the process anyway uh, for water of different densities so here the displacement that you are interested in is 8642 now remember 8642 for sea water will lie between these two so 8609 and 8944 right and similarly displacement of 8642 for fresh water will also lie between these two displacements 8399 and 8726 right so 8642 is a number which lies between these two numbers so 8642 will be somewhere between these two now for both the cases whether the displacement is in fresh water or sea water the corresponding drafts are 6 meters and 6.2 meters so for a displacement of 6 meters note down the two displacements in fresh water and sea water we'll be dealing with them separately and for 6.2 meters also you note down the displacement for fresh water as well as sea water and then we do some interpolation to find out what will be the draft for a displacement of 8642 we will come back to these tables for the last part again all right so if I just go back here, you will see that uh, for seawater first, I noted down the displacement against the corresponding draft. 8609 was against 6 meter and 8944 was against 6.2 meters. But what I am interested in is a displacement of 8642. What is the corresponding draft for a displacement of 8642, which is the displacement of the vessel here? So let's do some interpolation here. So you can see here that from 6 to 6.2 if i go from 6 to 6.2 which is an increase of draft of 0.2 meters so as my draft changes from 6 to 6.2 meters my draft increases by 0.0, 0 meters how much is my displacement increasing by so it goes from 8609 to 8944 that means 8944 minus 8609 so as my draft changes from 6 to 6.2 my displacement changes from 8609 to 8944 so as my draft increases by 0.2 of a meter my displacement increases by 335 tons but i am interested in a displacement of 8642 tons which means if i increase my displacement from 8609 to 8642 so 8642 and 8609 so if i increase my displacement by 33 tons how much should my draft increase by how much should my draft increase by from 6 to x which i don't know all right so therefore 
for an increase of 0.2 meter the decrease of displacement is 335 tons how much should the draft increase by to increase the displacement by 33 tons because from 8609 to going to 8642 is an increase of 33 tons and 8642 is what we are interested in so if i do a cross multiplication 33 times 0 0.20 is equal to x times 335 so of course x remains where it is and you can transpose this number here so multiplication becomes division so x is equal to 33 times 0 0.2 divided by 335 which is 0 0.02 now remember this 0 0.02 is not the final draft 0 0.02 is how much the draft will increase by from 0 6 meters if i increase the displacement by 33 tons so if i increase the displacement by 33 tons I get a displacement of 8642 which is the displacement I am interested in. So if I increase the dis draft by 0 0.02 meters it will give me the corresponding draft for a displacement of 8642. So here the draft is 6 plus 0 0.02 meters is 6.02 meters. All right. Similarly because in this case the freshwater draft and the freshwater displacement was given to me again you can see from the hydrostatic tables again 6 meters we had 8399 and again 6.2 we had 8726 right but i am interested in 8642 so that means if i increase my draft by 0.2 of a meter so if i go from 6 to 6.2 meter right if i increase the draft by 0.2 meter my displacement increases from 8399 to 8726 which is an increase in by 3 to 7 tons so how much should i increase the draft by so that i i can find the corresponding draft from 8642 so 8399 plus 243 is 8642 so if i just subtract my interested displacement minus 8399 I get 243 so that means if I increase the displacement by 243 tons how much should I increase the draft by that is x amount I don't know so I will again do a cross multiplication similar to last time x multiplied by 327 equals 0.2 multiplied by 243 remain x the way it is and you can take this to the other side transpose it multiplication becomes division when it goes to the other side of the equal to sign and x is equal to 0.15 meters that means x will increase x is the increase so x is how much the draft will increase by if i increase the displacement by 243 tons so the answer is 6.15 meters so for a corresponding draft of 6.15 meters the displacement will be 8642 in fresh water all right so remember some students what they do is they stop here you should not stop here this is just the amount by which your draft will increase by all right and then you add it to the original draft not original draft i mean the draft that is the lower draft and you add it to that so that you can get the corresponding draft now if i have to find the ship's displacement in relative density 1.015 remember the displacement does not change does not matter what density is is the displacement will not change all right so the displacement remains same so here i can assume that the ship was in seawater the ship was in seawater all right and let's say the ship is going into water of density 1.015 all right 1.015 all right now here the ship's displacement is 8642 tons in seawater the displacement will still remain the same it will not change 8642 tons remains 8642 tons what will change is the ship's draft so as the density will decrease density is decreasing right from 1.025 going into 1.015 as the density decreases the draft will increase draft will increase because in salty water ship will float easily but as it goes into less dense water of course the density decreases so ship sinks a little bit so draft increases all right that is the concept you have to understand it is only the draft that is changing with change in density now how do i find out how much the draft changes by now if it is going from sea water to any other water which is called dock water where fresh water is not involved we call it dock water allowance so if i if i calculate dock water allowance i can know how much the vessel here sinks by to get me the new draft however to find the dock water allowance we have to first find the fresh water allowance 
that is how the formula goes all right so let me show you how it all works out all right so let me look at the formula here so you can see the formula for freshwater allowance is this formula for freshwater allowance is displacement this is displacement remember the displacement is 8642 it will never change so you use displacement 8642 4 is a constant some books say 40 tpc if you use 40 tpc you get your answer in centimeters if you use 4 tpc you get your answers in millimeter doesn't matter and then tpc is tons per centimeter immersion now how do i calculate my tpc now remember my draft in salt water is 6.02 meters isn't it this is what i calculated draft in salt water what i calculated was 6.02 meters so that means when my ship is floating in salt water at this stage here stage number one what will be my tpc for a corresponding draft of 6.02 meters so what i will do is i will go back to the hydrostatic tables right and for a draft of six meters let me use a different color pen here for a, for the corresponding draft of six meters i will find out my tpc is 16.68 and for 6.20 my corresponding draft tpc is 16.8 right so if i just close up here you can find you can see that right so i will just erase it so that you guys can see the values again so here all right so for a corresponding i'll just erase everything else so that you guys don't get confused with what i'm circling here so remember that i am trying to i know that my ship is floating at a draft of 6.02 meters i know that much right in salt water now when it's doing that I am floating here 6.02 meters I have to find the TPC for 6.02 which will be somewhere here between these two numbers so I will note down the TPC for 6 meters and TPC for 6.2 meters and then by via interpolation I will find out the TPC for 6.02 all right so here for 6 meters the TPC was 16.68 for 6.2 meters it was 16.80 i need to find out for 6.02 meters so again if i increase the draft by 0.2 of a meter so 6.2 minus 6 is 0 0.2 my tpc increases from 16.68 to 16.80 which is an increase of 0.12 right so as my draft increases by 0.2 my tpc increases by 0.12 but my draft and seawater is 6.02 so if i increase the draft by 0 0.02 of a meter how much should my tpc increase by that is x so i will do a cross multiplication here x multiplied by 0 0.20 equals 0 0.12 multiplied by 0 0.02 then x remains where it is and this comes here so x is 0 0.012 but this is the amount by which your TPC will increase from 6 meters if I find out the value of TPC for 6.02 meters. So I will add it to the original TPC of 16.68. So this is for 6 meters. Draft TPC is 16.68. I will add the correction 0 0.012 to find out the TPC for draft 6.02 meters all right this is the correction factor you can say so my tpc for the ship when it is floating at a draft of 16 6.02 in salt water is 16.692 so what i'll do is i will put the value here in the formula for freshwater allowance the displacement is known to me 8642 and when i find the answer my answer will be in millimeters it is 129.433 all right then we find out the dock water allowance this is what we were interested in but to find dock water allowance we had to find fresh water allowance i will put this value of fresh water allowance here this is 1.025 minus relative density of any other water in which in this case is 1.015 remember this value here depends on the density of the water in which your ship is floating this will change as per the density in this case it's 1.015 if it is any other water other than fresh water you will put that density in this is a constant it doesn't change it remains the same so you put the value of fresh water here and do the calculation what you get your answer is in 51.773 millimeters because this value here of fresh water allowance was in millimeters so your answer will be in millimeters as well or 
you convert it into meters by dividing it by 1000 because your drafts are in meters your final answer should also be in meter right so here 51.773 is the dock water allowance this is the amount by which the ship will sink if it goes from salt water to water of relative density 1.015 so it sinks by 0 0.01517 and then this was the draft in sea water this is the amount by which the vessel will sink so new draft new draft in relative density 1.015 will be 6.02 plus 0 0.0517 which is 6.0717 meters all right so here the concept is very important for you to know that the relative density does not matter when it comes to ship's displacement the ship's displacement will remain the same what will change is the ship's draft and how much it changes by is dock water allowance when it is sea water to dock water and vice versa or it will be fresh water allowance if it is sea water to fresh water and vice versa thank you for watching today's video guys subscribe share like and watch out for my next video